A dinner that cooks all day while you're at work feels magical. This pot roast braises with cinnamon sticks too, so your home is extra fragrant. Plus, I'll show you how to make easy tacos for lunch the next day. Even though this uh, pot roast cooks in the slow cooker, you still wanna get a nice sear on it first. It's definitely worth it to take time to sear the beef. The technique adds so much flavor to the finished roast. And you want all sides to be seasoned, so <laughs> my funny technique is that I end up just sort of scooting it all around the plate. Then you'll add about two teaspoons of oil. This is beef chuck roast. You'll often get it tied at the butcher just so that the roast stays together if you're in the mood to slice it. So this is hot. You can see that it's starting to smoke a little bit. This is the most dramatic part of this recipe. You wanna get a nice hard sear, so you just want it to be like really pretty brown on all sides. While that's going, I'm gonna start on the onions. You just need a rough chop. They are going to be cooking for a very long time, so nothing fancy needs to be done here. Also, we'll slice three garlic cloves. Trying to do the sides is always tricky, but it's something that I strive for. So you can kind of hold it in place to make sure that you get a nice sear on the sides as well. This is perfect in my mind, just an, a really dark brown crust essentially is what's happening. So now it's ready for the slow cooker. Go ahead and let all those juices hang out. Cooking the onions and the juices left over from searing the beef is another major flavor booster. Let the onion cook for about six minutes and then I'll add the garlic because the garlic burns pretty quickly. And I'll go ahead and open the tomatoes. You need one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. These are something I always have in my pantry. It's just sort of a dinner lifesaver. The onions are starting to get brown, mostly because of the beautiful juices from the roast, but also because there's a nice amount of heat here. And you'll cook the garlic just till it gets fragrant, which happens sort of instantly. Then I'll add the rest of my salt, half a teaspoon more pepper to this mix and it's ready for the slow cooker too. Add the can of tomatoes and all the juice. The liquid from the tomatoes is what's going to help this braise and get nice and tender. Then you will nestle the cinnamon sticks. It, this is such a fun thing to do. They, I mean it smells amazing once they start cooking but it just gives everything this deep cinnamon flavor without sort of the powdery sweetness that you're used to with brown cinnamon. Set this on low and it's now time for eight to 10 hours of hands-free cook time. Right before you are ready to serve dinner, go ahead and chop up, or nicely slice rather, some mint to garnish. It's definitely an unexpected herb to serve with pot roast, but it's very cool with the spiciness of the cinnamon. I'm gonna check on the pot roast. I've let this um, just hang out for a little bit. You really don't wanna pull it out when it's too bubbly and too hot. It smells so good. I love the cinnamon. Oh, there's one. Don't forget your butcher's twine. There's a little bit of twine on the end, so you'll go ahead and snip that off. I'll slice it first, and then I'm gonna set aside a little chunk for tacos for tomorrow's lunch. This would be so good with um, you know, I think couscous would be really yummy with it. I'd do some whole wheat couscous, and you could do it the classic. Mashed potatoes would be excellent as well. I'm just gonna set this aside for tacos. You wanna make sure to get plenty of juices. So after you've sliced it, just get in here. And then just add loads of fresh mint. I like it in really big pieces, because I am a mint lover, but you can also chop it up nice and finely too. 
and dinner is ready and you barely had to do any work today. Slow cooker cinnamon pot roast. I saved a little chunk of the pot roast before I served dinner and now I'm gonna just shred it and this is gonna be for tacos for tomorrow's lunch. Just use two forks and kind of pull the meat apart. And then a little trick for corn tortillas, they often are a little bit hard to handle, so adding heat helps. I'm just gonna give these a couple flips over the burner. You can also pop them in the microwave for just a bit. You just want them to be able to bend. Go ahead and start putting the pot roast in and get everything right in your lunch container. Makes it extra easy, you can just pop it right in the fridge. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of pico de gallo. Also, if you have some jarred salsa, that's perfect for this. A little bit of Monterey Jack cheese or pepper jack. I've just got a couple of romaine leaves. I'm gonna thinly slice them. I put a ton of lettuce on my tacos. <laughs> And now lunch for tomorrow is ready for the fridge. I always feel very triumphant when I'm able to make this happen. 